As many parts of the world face a second wave of the COVID-19 pandemic, while we wait for a vaccine to be developed, researchers are looking for different ways to reduce coronavirus transmission. Results from recent studies show that the SARS-CoV-2 viruses, the viruses responsible for the COVID-19 pandemic, can be inactivated using certain commercially available mouthwashes. High viral loads can be detected in the oral cavity and throat of some COVID-19 patients. Thus, the use of mouthwashes that are effective against SARS-CoV-2 could help reduce the viral load, or the amount of virus, in the mouth after infection and may help reduce coronavirus transmissions over the short term. However, mouth rinses are not suitable for treating COVID-19 infection or protecting yourself against catching the virus. The research was done by Penn State College of Medicine. The results of the study are published in the Journal of Medical Virology on September 17, 2020. The researchers identified that the nasal and oral cavities are major points of entry and transmissions of human coronaviruses. Additionally, another study found that the major methods of transmissions of SARS-CoV-2 are through aerosolized respiratory droplets. This study was published in the New England Journal of Medicine. It also found that the virus can continue to live on different types of surfaces for hours or even days, which is suggested to be an important secondary mode of transmission. Thus, it will be critical to developing methods to lessen coronavirus transmissions as the world continues to search for a COVID-19 vaccine. The study led by Dr. Craig Myers, a distinguished professor of microbiology and immunology and obstetrics and gynecology with a group of physicians and scientists. They tested several common over-the-counter mouthwashes and nasal rinses in a laboratory setting for their ability to inactivate high concentrations of human coronaviruses using contact times of 30 seconds one minute and two minutes. Human coronaviruses used in this test are similar in structure to the SARS-CoV-2 viruses responsible for the COVID-19 pandemic. The products tested include a 1% dilute solution of Johnson's baby shampoo to be used as a nasal rinse, a neti potty, peroxide sore mouth cleansers, and mouthwashes. The study used a test to replicate the interaction of the virus in the nasal and oral cavities with the rinses and mouthwashes. Researchers allowed the solutions to interact with the human coronaviruses for 30 seconds, 1 minute, and 2 minutes before diluting the solution to prevent further virus inactivation. The results found 1% baby shampoo nasal rinse solution killed 99% of human coronaviruses within one minute and 99.9% .9 within two minutes. Several over-the-counter mouthwashes or gargle products, including Listerine and Listerine-like products, were highly effective at inactivating infectious virus with greater than 99.9% .9 even with a 30-second contact time. The results of the study suggest that these products may have the potential to reduce the amount of virus spread by people who tested positive for COVID-19. The findings further supported earlier results from Germany published in the Journal of Infectious Diseases in July 2020. In this earlier study, researchers determined that the routine oral rinsing with mouthwash by those with a coronavirus infection could significantly reduce the viral load of coronavirus in their mouths, throat, and nose. This could potentially reduce the amount they could transmit to others with a cough or sneeze. The rapid spread of SARS-CoV-2 across the world has created unprecedented healthcare, social, and economic disaster, with aerosolized droplets are considered to be the most significant mode of transmission. Wearing masks and social distancing 
can significantly decrease transmission and spread. While we wait for definitive treatment and vaccines to contain and prevent the spread of SARS-CoV-2, additional strategies are needed to lessen transmission. Nasal rinses and mouthwashes which directly treat the major sites of reception and transmissions of human coronaviruses may provide an additional level of protection against the virus, according to the studies. The next step is to conduct clinical trials to confirm the virucidal potentials of these products and assess their ability to limit the coronavirus transmissions in COVID-19 positive patients. Even if the use of these solutions could reduce transmissions by 50%, it would have a major impact, according to Dr. Myers. It is also important to note that even if further research confirms the antiviral benefits of mouthwash use, these products cannot replace face covering, social distancing, and other methods. They will be an additional tool.